We're taking a toll road today. Heads up. Toll drivers say that you should not have to pay because the ride is bumpy. Yeah, they tell us that State Highway 130 is plagued with potholes, which nobody likes. Katie Rodriguez found out there is a fix, but may not last very long. Pflugerville neighbor Michael Hell says he tries his best to stay off the 130 toll road. When we would commute in, I would, I would go 45 to Mopac to avoid 130, although I live literally a quarter mile from 130. That's because of these potholes. This one freshly filled with asphalt. I probably saw more than half a dozen um, in a two mile uh, span south of Farmer and just really just taken aback by it. It's his biggest concern about the 80 mile per hour toll road, especially since he says drivers like him are paying to use it. We expect that if you're, you're paying for a road, that it's going to be a smooth surface to give you the best possible ride. Those at TxDOT are aware of the problem. They say the recent icing and freezing temperatures are partially to blame. Not only do the frigid temps cause potholes, but they can impact repairs. TxDOT says last year's winter storm caused a lot of damage, including potholes, taking them months to catch up. The transportation agency is working to temporarily fill those potholes until they can fix the problem for good. In the meantime, Hell plans to continue to avoid 130 to ensure his safety. I worry every time I drive it that, yeah, I'm, I'm going to end up with a blowout or something. Odds are you're not, but you never know. Yeah, Michael says if he does take 130, it's usually because he's traveling from Pflugerville to FM 969. Now, he says he first noticed the potholes in the road issues about two years ago. TxDOT says part of the pavement issues could be because of the ongoing construction work to expand 130. Sally? Candy, thank you so much for that. And by the way, Candy started to look into this concern about potholes because you at home were concerned about it and you reached out to us Always send us your questions or your tips. We look into every single one of them to report it at KXAN.com or you can just use that QR code on your screen. Just point your phone camera to it and it'll take you to the page where you can submit your tip to us.